that I have. And, uh, and one thing that I'm thankful, it's of course my family. And then every little thing that I have accomplished in my life, I try to be thankful in a daily basis. That's what I, did I answer your question, John? Yes, Renato, okay. thank you. Uh, so uh, the next one, I wanna try. Mm, I choose one guy. I will choose someone. You can choose wrong. Go ahead. John Guilherme. You're return, man. John Guilherme. <laughs> What is the second question? Sorry. João? Yeah, what, uh, the second question is, one thing you are grateful for today? For today? Yeah. Uh, I'm grateful today because I, I have a job and even if it's not in my, in, the same city that I live. Uh, God protects me in the uh, when I'm going and when I'm coming back, and this is this is good. God is protecting me every day, and today He did this, and I have my job, and I can can have my everything that I need uh, with the money that I, I can get there. This is. Thank you. Great. Well, uh, sorry, guys, I forgot to put some timer, but I think it's working. But yes, the, that's it, guys. I, All right. Sorry. Thanks, Joan. <laughs> thanks, Joan. Appreciate. Grateful. We need to be grateful every day. Search for for reasons to be grateful. It's not hard for us. Christians, we have so many great, so many reasons to be grateful, right? All right, guys, so I will ask Leleo to do the worship for us. Please, Leleo, go ahead. Here are the lyrics in the chat box. Great. Um, if you want to close your eyes in this moment, you can do it. You can use this moment to thank God for the week. Thank God for the things that he has made for you and for your family. And let's worship together. This is my desire to honor you. Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. All I have within me, I give you praise. All that I in you Lord I give you my heart I give you my soul I live for you alone every breath that I take every moment that I wake Lord, have your way in me. This is my desire to honor you. Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. All 
all I have within me, I give you praise, all that I adore is in you. Give my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment that I wait. Lord, have your ways in me. Lord, I give you my heart. I give my soul. I live for you alone, every breath that I take, every moment that I wake, Lord, have your way in me. And I will And I will live for you. And I will live. And I will live for you. And I will live, and I will live for you, Lord, I give you my heart, give you my soul, I live for you alone, every breath that I take. Every moment that I wait, Lord, have your ways in me. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment that I wait. Lord, have your ways in me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, Lelel. Uh, we are having João Guilherme sharing the gospel with us tonight. Please, João Guilherme, go ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I was thinking about what I could say. Um, and I remember something, maybe maybe in this time that we are living, uh, it's normal. We, we see people that I, that it is, uh, worried about the things, or worried about the future, about money, food, food, uh, job, and a lot of things. Uh, and and I was thinking about this. And sometimes, uh, even if we believe in God and trust in Him, uh, we know that everything comes from Him. Uh, sometimes we we worry about the things. So. Today, I, I, I would like to remind us about the care of God uh, to us and that we don't need to be worried. And I, uh, I want to share uh, Matthew 6, if you, if you can open your Bible now, uh, Matthew 6, 
25 to 34. Matthew 6, 25 to 34. Does anyone want to read for us? Someone? We have the text on the chat box. Twenty-five to thirty-four. Yeah, I can do it. Thank you. The girl hurried back at once to the king and demanded, "I want you to give me here and now the head of John the Baptist on a plate." This made the king very sad, but he could not refuse her because of her vows he had made in front of the, all his guests. I think so, it's not this. Not, no, oh, sorry. Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, Matthew sorry. six. I wasn't yeah. <laughs> Matthew six, 24, sorry, 25 to 34. 25 to 34, yeah. Therefore, I tell you. <laughs> All right. I was just testing John there. All right. Uh, you cannot be a slave of two masters. You have to, you hate one and love the other. You'll be disloyal to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. This is why I tell you, do not be worried about the food and drink you need in order to stay alive or about clothes or your body. After all, isn't life worth more than food? And isn't the body worth more than clothes? Look at the bird. They don't plant seeds, gather a harvest, and put in, in barns. Yet your Father in heaven takes care of them. Aren't you worth more than birds? Can any of you live a little bit longer by worrying about it? And why worry about clothes? Look how the wild flowers grow. They don't work or make clothes for themselves. But I tell you that not even King Solomon, with all his wealth, had clothes as beautiful as one of these flowers. It is God who clothes the wild grass, grass that is here today and gone tomorrow, a burn up in the oven. One, he will be all the more sure to clothe you. What a little faith you have. So don't start worrying. Where will my food come from or my drink or my clothes? These are the things that pagans are always concerned about. Your father in heaven knows that you need all these things. Instead, be concerned about above everything else with the kingdom of God and with what he requires you of. And he will provide you all, all the other things. So don't worry about tomorrow. It will have enough worries for its own. There is no need to add to the troubles each day brings. Thank you, Leo. Um, I, I, I remember this, this text and these verses. And this, this is good for me uh, to remember the care of God to us. And Jesus starts to saying, he starts to saying about uh, just this: do not be worried. So, uh, even about our life or what we we eat or what we we will uh, wear or some, uh, we don't need to be worried because God is, is taking care of us, and He is saying about. Uh, the life is more than food and the body is more than than the clothes so what we we really need to worry about and he says about uh, the birds uh, he, he compares us with the birds the birds do, doesn't have uh, harvest doesn't have uh, some uh, um, 
cupboards to to store food or something like this. But every day they have food because God gives to them. Uh, and think about it. I, I don't know uh, where do you live, but and if have some birds uh, uh, in your house or or near you, but we we don't see actually what the birds are eating. If you try to see what they are eating, maybe we we are not seeing because they are taking something in the the ground and we we don't see. But God is giving them food. And we, we uh, Jesus is saying that we are uh, worse than them. So why we will worry about what we eat? The the birds have food every day, so God God's gonna give to us food every day as well. Uh, I think uh, I was thinking about it, and one one thing was interesting for me. Uh, Sometimes we we think, um, okay, I will have food every day. God God will will provide to me uh, what I want. But sometimes not what what I want, but what I need. So sometimes I I want to to have something to eat, but God God's giving me food, but not exactly what I want. But he is providing. So this is so interesting. And in the verse 27, Jesus say, Jesus says, uh, some uh, sorry. <laughs> and who of you by being word can add a single hour of his uh to his life? Uh, we we can't just add some some one hour in our lives so why we we are gonna be worried god is taking care of us and jesus continues uh ab saying about the clothes uh, and he says about the flowers the the lilies of the the field how beautiful are the flowers god god gave to to the flowers uh, so beautiful colors and and oh, uh, variety uh, I, I'm not sure about this word but you understand I think uh, and it's so so fantastic when I see the flowers and Jesus says says again is not your worth than them so why why are you worrying about the what you are we are wearing your the the clothes that you have. God is giving to you what what you need. So uh, this is this is so interesting. Uh, and he say he says in the in this end that who really worries about these things, this uh, these things in in earth, these simple things are the Gentiles. So we don't we. We don't don't we we shouldn't be like them. We we need to trust God that He is gonna give us and provide us everything. In the verse thir thirty three, He says, "Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, righteousness, and all these things will be added to you." So we can really trust in God and we don't need to worry about these things because God is taking care of us. We just need to seek his kingdom and his righteousness first. This is the challenge I know. It's hard to to seek first the kingdom of heaven. Uh, but this is the way. This is the way we need to seek first God, God's kingdom and God's righteousness and all these things God is going to give to us and you don't need to worry about tomorrow because God is providing every day uh, the word that João brought today to, to the challenge was grateful and I think 
it's match with this. Uh, we need we don't need to worry, but we need to be grateful with all the things that God has given to us. All these things every day, every single thing that God is giving to us, it's just grace, it's mercy in our lives, and we need to to do is seek first the kingdom of heaven. And I know that it was really fast, but it was this that I wanted to share with you. Uh, because it's, I think it's, it's a thing that we need to, to remember every day. Every day, uh, even in pandemic or not, but every day we need to remember God is taking care of us and we need to seek first His kingdom and His righteousness. Let's trust God in everything. Amen. Amen. I like something that Douglas Gonçalves says. He used to have an um, example of their children. He always give examples of their, his, his children. Their, his children. And then he says, well, my, my son and my daughter, they don't care about who is providing, where I'm going to buy, how much I'm paying. They just go and, and sleep, and another day in the morning, they ask for their Nescau, their milk, because they know they have a father. I mean, if you think about it, as sons and daughters of God, knowing that he is the owner of everything. We don't need to be worried about how things are going to happen. We just need to rely on him and says, I have a father. That's all I need to know. He will provide. Not, not what I want sometimes, but for sure he will provide what I need. You know, that's something that Juan said. That, that's an example or a... a a picture that I, I like very much about this subject. Thank you, João, so much for sharing the gospel. Does anyone have any comments about it? Please share with us. Well, thank you for bringing the gospel for us. Uh, I don't think uh, your uh, message was short. I believe that was um, enough for us and very um, powerful for our hearts uh, in this day. Um, I just want to say that uh, we need to um, trust God and need to, to open our hearts uh, for Him. And sometimes we can't see His uh, job. Like we, um, maybe sometimes we uh, are discouraged and then we um, look at the sky and look at the problems around. And then we think, where's, where's God? Where's my father? But he's working. He's always working. He never stopped working because he loves us too much. So we need to be constant and we need to be uh, flexible as well. Uh, I think I've been learning about it because God has his ways to work. And sometimes we won't understand that, but sometimes he will provide this knowledge for us. So we just need to trust and keep going because he loves us and that's enough for us, right? Absolutely. Thanks for your participation, Stephanie. Does anyone else want to comment? Please share what God has gives to you. Go ahead, Lilel. <laughs> I was just waiting. <laughs> uh, I think this way of being worried about everything, it's the, the way the world shows us how we have to, to be. Because um, when you're growing up, you hear, oh, you have to graduate to be happy and then you graduate and nothing happens and then they say oh you have to get married to be happy and you get married and nothing happens but you have to have a child and you do it 
and nothing happens because um, it's a uh, is the wrong way to look for for things when you uh, figure out that only Christ only Jesus Christ can bring you happiness everything changes so when you find Jesus when you find the real uh, real way the the God it's over you have everything and then all the all other things come uh, while Juan was preaching um, I remember the the part of the Bible of Jesus visit, visit Martin and Mary and it's really interesting because when he gets at the I will read for you guys as Jesus and his disciples went on their way he came to a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him in her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat down at, at the feet of, of the Lord and listened to his teaching. Martha was upset over all the work she had to do. She came and said, Lord, don't you care of, that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to come and help me. The Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are so worried and troubled over so many things. But just one thing needed. Martha has chosen the right thing. And it will not be taken away from her. Uh, it's really interesting because uh, sometimes we, we think that we need to do a lot of things. But just one thing is important. It's to be at God's feet. At the feet of Jesus. Worship Him. You know? And our lives will change. Uh, I think you always over change it, <laughs> but it, it changes everything. Okay. Thanks, Leleu. I heard a, a speech about it from a philosopher called Clovis de Barros, and he says this: he says this, we are in, we are always seeking for something better, uh, trying to find happiness in this next step. And then we need to understand that we need to enjoy the process. It doesn't speak about Jesus, but we know that the key is Jesus. If we find Jesus, uh, we have happiness in the process. Maybe Paola can talk about it because she has a blog called Enjoying the Journey, right? And that's mm -hmm. pretty much about it, isn't it, Paola? Exactly, exactly. I'm totally in favor of this idea of enjoy enjoying the process and enjoying the way and in this context we know that jesus is the way so yeah it has totally to do with this it, it doesn't mean yeah. that we don't have to seek better things it doesn't mean we don't have to study to learn other languages to do our best but the thing is the happiness do not live in the next step the happiness it is now because we have Jesus today, right? I think that's that's the biggest um, understanding that we can have about it. Yes, and that should be enough for us. Of course, we want to. Uh, sometimes we are ambitious, and that's great. Sometimes, of course, if you have a balance about it, but we should understand that we have Jesus, we have a Father who loves us, and that's enough for us, so we can be grateful, and then we can read things, but we can uh, see what is around us right now, and we can uh, thank God because of that, and um, I think many of them, many of these things are simple things, I think João said about that, like the flowers, the sky, the, um, the birds, it's, um, it looks um, like uh, simple for us, simple for our generation, because our generation is looking for money, for cars, for gold, but uh, we have the simple blessings every day around us, so we are very, very blessed. I think it is very simple, but we need to remember it every day that God is our Father, that God is knows what we need, because sometimes I forget. I think because it, uh, I have difficulty to 
believe it, uh, because we need to remember every day, every moment that God uh, knows what we need and provide it for us. Can I say something, Go, Pablo? Absolutely, Renata. Okay. So as uh, John was saying, uh, three things that came to my mind as an experience going through this pandemic. Uh, first, when uh, Leo said about, uh, you know, uh, you try to get married and then you don't get the, the happiness that you were looking for, you get a car or something like this. I totally agree with you, Leo. Uh, and I also think that uh, is about the purpose because when you find, that, that's the question that should, you know, burn inside of us. Because if you find your, your purpose in, in what you do, and then you no longer uh, need to wait for the next step because you're, you have already found your purpose. And this is exactly what happened. You know, that's my personal experience as being married for many years. And uh, it's not about the next step because I knew exactly what I was looking for. And God uh, confirmed in my heart all these steps in my, my life. And then you find your purpose and then it's greater than everything that's going to come next. It doesn't matter what you're going to make a lot of money, which is very good. As I think Stephanie said, the ambition, it's nice to, to be ambitious sometimes. It's nice to, to be able to go to the next step. It's so nice to drive a nice car, to live in a comfortable house, but that's not the purpose. That means if I don't have the nice car, I will still be happy and thankful for what I have, what I have accomplished. But uh, as Jean said, you know, it's very nice because from the very first moment we started this pandemic here, of course, just like everybody else, I was a little bit worried about the situation. And I remember very well, I was uh, with my family and then I, I prayed. I think I was at the beach. Yeah. And then I, I was very concerned about the situation. I just I went for a run listening to the Bible and God spoke very strongly in my heart because I was worried about it, just like I, I, was, I was not a bird, I was a human being. So I was thinking about, oh my goodness, what's going to happen tomorrow or next month? And God immediately took care of my heart. It's not about, he didn't give me the things that I, I was uh, uh, waiting for. He just took my heart and then he took care of my heart and put peace in my heart. And from that moment on, and then I started to see things differently. And then things started to happen in a different way. Nowadays, I, I, you know, I learned, I think Stephanie said something, or Paula, I don't remember. Uh, but uh, we learn to live with what we have, not what we need, exactly what we want. And then that was a great lesson for me. I could realize that I could, I can live with, a lot less than I had before, and I'm still living a very nice life. That was a great lesson for me in terms of what John said, you know, and this is the call, John. We got to be a bird, you know, we got to be a bird. That, that's the, you know, always the Bible uses, you know, illustrations with animals, but we, you know, John was very nice what you said. I, I had never thought of it. You no, know, I, I got to be a bird, you know, not because I want to fly, but because I want not to worry about the things, you know, just like a child. Thank you very much. All right, great, thanks, Renato. All right, guys, any 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 other comment you guys want to mention? Ju. Ju is too quiet today. He's so yes. quiet today. Why? Because I'm late. I was late. Yeah. Because you of are, it. You are forgiven. It's okay. Thanks. <laughs> Better late than well, ever. <laughs> I was yeah. thinking. I was thinking about this word. Therefore, um, you know, Jesus is explaining a lot of things here um, about praying, fasting, treasures in heaven, and then this word for me, it's like, okay, now that you have all this, so the conclusion is be a bird and uh, so therefore i tell you do not worry and therefore and we use it when we write a text conclusion and so important when you you are doing um, something written to emphasize something so i like to think about this part 
uh, of this special chapter in the conclusion. So therefore, do not worry. Um, be a bird. You have a heavenly father. So it works calls my attention today. So therefore, it means like, okay, now you have all this information. Very good, you learn. So therefore, use it. Do not worry. So is this my contribution for today in the group. So thank you, Juan, for telling us, bringing us the gospel today. Very good. I have a question, but it's not about the gospel itself. Why Marlon and Juan is apart? Why they are not in the same room? Or are you in the same room? So we are in a so friend's are, house. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's Marley, friend's house. So what Marley is there? Look. I'm here. Uh, okay. The, pers the person <laughs> who invited us is sleeping, so we are kind of, you know, in silence. I, I was wondering that you were in timeout. Like someone told you, okay, now stop. You two, uh, too timeout. Much, too much. Then you grab your yeah, cell phone and say, okay, ground. let's be quiet here. Yeah, you're so ground. Listen. Yeah. They broke up. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have also a late visitor today, Jessica. She was in another uh, appointment. That's why she's late. I will ask her to present herself. Please, Jessica, tell us something about you. Hi. Uh, my name is Jessica. I live in Bauru. Uh, and <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Jessica. Are you Gustavo's friend? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we met nice when I you. was doing my college in Bauru. Yeah. She worked in the college. She still works, right, Jessica? Yes. In the how do I say this? To the president of the university, the engineer university, right? Director. She's the director? No, no. She works for the director, the principal oh, okay. or something. Principal, principal right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah, principal. That's it. Great, great. All right, nice to meet you. Very nice. Thanks. Uh, you know, that's very interesting about uh, this. This is a good part about, uh, of course, there are so many uh, setbacks and bad things about this uh, pandemic, but the good thing is that we can be together here. You know, I don't know where you guys are from. Maybe just uh, Jessica is from Bauru. Maybe everybody else is from Bragança, just like me. But it's so nice because you have this opportunity to, to meet. You know, I, I don't believe we, we would have the same opportunity if you had a I know our lives just going on in a normal pace as it was like four months ago. That is a good thing. You know, you can be here and then no excuse, you know, oh, I'm so tired. And no, you're tired of just turning on your computer. You can't be tired for that. And then <laughs> that's something very good, you know, to meet different people and uh, uh, share this, you know, English is a very nice, uh, I am an English teacher and I love English. And then that's uh, how English can open new doors. And it's so nice as an English teacher myself to see everybody here, young people. I, I'm sure I am the oldest here. And uh, to see young people, you know, speaking English, very good English. Gustavo, uh, congratulations for this great initiative. Everybody here, it's a great idea. I wish I can join you more times. Congratulations. Right. So, Renato borrow the, the speech of Julius. Julius... Is the one who usually says, I am the oldest one in the group. He's not here <laughs> Talking today. about Julius, where is Julius? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what happened. Oh, I don't here. know. Indeed, I don't know. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Renato so, and Jessica, please come every week because we met every week. So, we, actually, we always say that uh, this uh, group is a blessing for us because we have the, the possibility to practice our English and uh, study the Bible and worship God together and meet different people. So we uh, have been um, a meeting here. So it's a precious time, precious time for us. Yeah, for Please sure. no, no come about every day, 
Uh, every day, no, every week. <laughs> do you guys do have like, I'm sorry for the, uh, to interrupt you, uh, Gustav, do you guys have uh, any other group like WhatsApp you can talk or yes. just uh, on, on the week on Friday? Well, we have a WhatsApp group, but we just okay. meet on Fridays. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking about being far away from each other, João and Marlon live in United Kingdom now. Oh, that's good. And Paola is a professional traveler. She was in Mexico a few weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> now she's in Brazil. And I'm not a traveler anymore. I'm, I'm a while. retired traveler. For yeah. A while. I'm... <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for coming today. It was a blessing for me. Hope you guys have been blessed also. Does anyone want to pray for us to finish our meeting? No? Yes? Can I? Can I? Absolutely, Renato, please. As the, as the father of the group. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bless my little children. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful time. And then I, I, well, I was really uh, impressed. And I thank you, Lord, because I know how much you, you can do through any language, especially English in this time, but not, not just about the English, but for the heart that you're transforming. I thank Lord for the life of Jean Guilherme that uh, brought us a great lesson today. Uh, let us remember, Lord, not just for the English, but let us remember in a daily basis that we need to get closer to you. We need to fly as birds and we need to be uh, just naive as children, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray for each life that I had a great privilege of meeting today. I hope I can come back here more often. And please, Lord, let us remember we got to be birds. And this is the last we got from uh, Jean today. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you. you for Gustavo's life to be bring us this chance in every single person here and their families as well. Thank you very much, Lord. In Jesus' name, the church says, Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Take that. All right, guys. Have a nice weekend. Thanks for coming. See you next Friday. God bless you Love all. Love you guys. Love you. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. See you. Bye, bye. Guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. I see you Peace. next. Uh...